things I liked about Buffy so much was you addressed a lot of social issues in a medium of science fiction. And season one of Dollhouse seemed to be setting up the world. But how are you going to incorporate issues of social justice further in this series? Well, as you can see from this last episode, everything turns out fine. <laughs> Yes, yes, more and more we're interested in, in dealing with the abuse of power and, um, and the various ways that people can do that and, and, and what it will really bring out in our characters when they're pushed to the edge. Yes, those of us who follow your career often see familiar faces, and I'm just wondering if that has affected your creative process to where now sometimes the people you work with actually help inspire your creations rather than after you create, you then think of actors you worked with. Um, this is something I, I can't stress enough. The, the way I talked about the writer's room um, uh, is, you know, with being a round table, being a, a circle. Um, this is how my creative life exists. It exists because of a community. Um, and everything I see from them informs everything I do. The show was created because I said, you know, I'm, I know Eliza can be sophisticated and funny and sexy and strange and different and and all these things that she's not going to get to play unless I get to play with her. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, not just the writers, but absolutely other actors as well. Um, you know, we were at the Guild panel this morning. Alicia's singing in her little Christmas episode that made me want her to play Penny in Dr. Horrible. So, um, I see things, and then, and then the idea to have her in this episode uh, actually came from Sarah Fain. Um, when we, we had an actress who fell out, and she, we were like, we need someone who we just absolutely know is reliable and wonderful and can get it done. And she's like, well, there is this redhead we wanted for Women's Murder Club. I'm like, yeah? Oh! Right! <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I hadn't thought of it. Um, I mean, this extends to other mediums as well. Um, you know, we, we were doing Buffy, and on one day of shooting Spike in a flashback, we came up with the idea for Tales of the Vampires and Tales of the Slayers and all of that stuff. And the next day, we came up with an idea to do the Shakespeare readings, just because of all the different things we were seeing. And James's energy as an actor, and Doug Petrie's as a comic book fan, um, and this year, you know, all bets are off. Last year it was when we got Eliza, and also Amy came to play, so you know, we didn't want to make it seem like, you know, we were favoring certain people. I don't care. Woo! And, uh, um, uh, for example, I do believe that uh, we'll be seeing um, a few uh, episodes that involve a young ingenue named Alexis Denison. Uh, not 
just the writers. Uh, one of the new directors that we're going to have this year is someone I've collaborated with a lot, but not in this capacity. Uh, we're going to have one episode that's going to be directed by John Cassidy. So generally, this, uh, this season is about uh, giving people chances and taking them ourselves because you guys managed to give us the chance to have this season. Thank you guys. That's 